Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Kenyans have been silent and patient for too long, but it has reached a time when they cannot continue to be patient anymore. They have been waiting for too long to see William Ruto doing something. But they have realized that this is a man who has no any plan, no agenda for the youth, women, and anyone in this country. The only agenda he has is on how to overtax you as a Kenyan. As simple as that. With all this, it has reached a time when Kenyans are now using comedy and the music to send a message to this regime calling for revolution against the leadership of one William Samway Ruto. And the worst for Ruto is that the people who are leading this revolution, they are the majority who come from specific region where it was perceived that he got a large number of votes. Now Kalenjin are leading in rejection of William Ruto. They are composing songs that are anti-William Samuel Ruto. Imagine someone composing a song referring to Ruto as Mukora. <laughs> That's a Kalenjin. I'm saying so because our politics has been local. That's the truth. But it, it has reached time when we will not play this local politics anymore, that Tunapigia Mutue to Kura, our person, that has been the way. That before you come to the ballot, you need the backing of your people. So your people have to back you. That wewe ni muluya unaitaji waluya nyomayako, wewe ni mkale unaitaji wakale, wewe mkikuyu. There is a hit song today that is trending on social media. All over. Where uh, a Kalenjin has composed a song to reject William Ruto and is calling on Kenyans to send Ruto home. The reasons are obvious. Ni mukora, ni muongo, na afanyiwa na inchi kazi. Now, I have seen so many Kenyans asking for the translation of this song to understand the message in the song because now people are really sharing it everywhere. And in the loose translation, the person who composed this song is saying that it is sad that we put a con man to manage the affairs of the country. But it's not too late before we send him home. Ya kwamba kuna mkora ako kwa kiti na hakuna maendeleo anafanya ama anafanya wananchi. Inafaa tufanya mabadiliko mkora aende nyumbani. We want change. Change is coming. Mukora Aende Numba. And I'm telling you that that's the loose translation of that song. So it's all about Mukora Kwenda Numbani. It's all about that we made a mistake, but we have to correct the mistake. That Ruto is just in the state house doing nothing. Imagine it's a Mukora. <laughs> now we are continuing this final discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet, not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, Samasa, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, you can't ignore music. 
Music has been used for very long time. In old days, to debt, to send a message to a community, a specific group of people, or to a country. So you cannot ignore music. You can't ignore songs. You can't ignore poetry. You can't ignore comedy. It is a tool that has been used to send a message either to one, to praise, to glorify, to thank, or to embrace someone or something. That is it. So in this music, or in this song, it was not meant to praise Ruto, or to thank him, or to glorify him. Glory in Agwanga Yamung, isn't it? It was composed to warn William Ruto and to deliver a very strong message to Kenyans on what they need to do as far as the leadership of Ruto is concerned. So, usichukulia wimbo tuki urahisi, iko na ujumbe and songs has been, have been used during revolution time, even during protest demonstration, picketing, songs have been used to send strong message. And imagine how many times this, this song has been shared on Facebook, on Twitter. You go to YouTube. You go to WhatsApp groups. People have been sharing this song. And this is how revolution normally starts. Inaanza kidogo kidogo ikienda ikisonga na ni hivo. Ndiyo mtu akae chini. Afikiria kutengeneza wimbo wa ina hii. Inamaanisha huyo mtu amechoka sana na ule uongozi ambaye ameona Mheshimiwa Ruto akitumia kuongoza wake. And Ruto should be so much worried. The song has been sung in Kalenjin dialect, meaning it, 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 there is possibility that it has been composed by a Kalenjin who is not happy with this leadership. Sasa ajiulize kunaendaje. The message here is simple. And the man is confirming that indeed they put they, they voted for someone whom now they are referring to as a con man. The word there is con man. That they put a con man in office to manage the affairs of the country. But it's not too long before they send him home. <laughs> Revolution is starting in Kalenjin nation and it will spread across the country before Ruto will realize it will be late for him. Kama watu wako wenyewe wamekuita conman. Sisi watu wengine tunakuita haji. When they see you, they see a conman in you. How are you becoming a conman? It is because of the policies that have been put in place by the Kenya Kwanda administration to govern this country. Go and check on the finance bill 2023-2024. That is where conmanship came in. You overtax Kenyans. You leave them with nothing. You have conned them. They don't have a way to survive. The only thing they have to do is to surrender everything to you. What we refer to as highway robbery. Uru had 8%. Ruto multiplied it by 2. Now 16% taxation on Kenyans. At kama uru alikuwa mwekea mzigo, na mimi huwa mzigo, ntae, he multiply by 2 to double it and make it hard for you. So wale walikuwa na complain ya kwamba, maisha ime kuwa ngumu wakati wa mashimu wa uru kenyata. Saithi watasema nini? A man who said that is coming to care about the poor, the hustlers, a man who has slept hungry, he know what it means to sleep hungry. Now he is double taxing Kenyans. Alikuwa mkora wakati wa campaign. Saithi tunazawona. There was the issue of G to G. 
you know, agreement. What kind of the refer to, referring to as gangster to gangster oil agreement. It all was about to give a chance to some individuals around William Ruto, na uongozi wake, to get some money. They were getting money. They bring oil here in Kenya. They sell it so much expensive. But then, the issue of solving the dollar issue never happened. The uh, international oil market reduced the price of oil, crude oil. But here in Kenya, nothing was reduced. Gangster to gangster issue. So it was conmanship where they were eating a lot of money. Haila alikuwa nauliza where is the 38 shillings going per every liter of oil? It is government to government which should be so much cheap instead it's so much expensive. Who was eating this money? Haila alikuwa nakula yu pesu. You talk about edible oil it was a scam. It was supposed to be cheap. But when it landed in this country, first of all, kept saying it was not fit for human consumption. Then later, it was on the shelves. But again, with all that, we found out that on every 20 liter jerkan of oil, there was extra 1,000 being charged compared to oil that is Manufactured locally here. It was expensive. So who was milking Kenya the dry? Who was stealing from Kenyans? Kuna katel smahali. Yomana wanasema, we put a con man in the office to manage our affairs. Now he's failing us. Sema kuna mkora, ako kwa kiti. Na hakuna maendelea nafanya wa nainchi. He has really collected too much taxes. The only thing he's doing is to borrow with zero development relaunching Uru Kenyatta's project. That's why they're calling him Mukora. If he will be launching his own projects, I find the groundbreaking Mwana Kazi and Adelaide. No one will call him Mukora. But you overtax us, but we, don't, we are not seeing anything that you are doing for us in terms of development. You remain a Mukora. That's why they're saying that to lepigia kura Mukora na sasa hakuna kitu anafanya wa nainchi. He has failed everyone and everyone is pissed off. Sasa, itakuwa ni maajabu wewe unatoka central. Unasema ruto ni sawa, anafana kazi sawa. Na watu wa rift male, wala mbao wanamujua mzuri. Wanaongea luga moja, wanaelewana kabisa, wanasema huyu mutu ni mkora. Wewe unasema ruto hako sawa. Lazima tuangalia kili yako hiko sawa. Umetoka hapa western, unanda kusema uongozo wa mwishima ruto hako sawa. Na wenyeji ambao wanaongea luga moja na yeye wanasema huyu mtu ni mkora. Lazima tukupima kini. You are coming from Nyanza region. You are supporting this regime and leadership. When the, his own people wanaelewana kwa luga moja wanasema yeye ni mkora. They have they are yet to learn the energy development from William Ruto. Wanawita mkora kwa sababu ana launch project that never kick off is hot air. Don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.